Thanks so much for tuning in to another edition of the Bloody Legends with Jai That Aussie Metal Guy and Jim Taylor. Make sure you're a bloody legend and hit that like and subscribe so you can keep up to date with all the great content from these bloody legends. G'day, how are you all there, going? There it's Jai That Aussie Metal Guy here with the Bloody Legends podcast. And for that, I have my awesome co-host, Jim Taylor, JB Taylor Music. Jim, thank you so much for joining me. Today, Thank you, tonight, man. the bloody legends, we have our Suffer the Avenue. We have Jay, a.k.a. Jay Sunken. And can I do it? El Gran Oso, a.k.a. Dom, in yep, to talk about <laughs> all things Suffer the Avenue, Wonderful. including their forthcoming EP, Super Debtor, which is volume two, pardon me, Super Debtor comes out April 12th. Cheers for joining us, guys. Thanks, man. No worries. Thanks for having us. This is great, man. Awesome. And- Awesome. Absolute pleasure, absolute pleasure as Jim downs some Southern Comfort and you guys have your brews and I have my <laughs> my H2O. Um, for the uninitiated guys, can you just give us a brief rundown of kind of who Suffer the Avenue are? Uh, I guess we're just uh, four mates that uh, hung around for 20 plus years, all into music, all into the same things, being rap bags and... Uh, getting down to some good tunes that's 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 <laughs> the that's the one so how, how did you um pick up said instruments jay you're you're the the drummer extraordinaire over there the heartbeat of summer <laughs> and then we've got the axe master over there with dom tell us a little bit about kind of how you you started in your, your prospective fields there um I remember uh i think it was grade seven um like a high school band come to our primary school so it was like clarinets saxophones all that sort of shit of good stuff <laughs> yes but there was a drummer there's a drummer part of this um band and it just blew me away it was like fuck that looks cool as shit man i want to do that and um yeah asked my old man for a kit and took a, took a bit to convince him that's what i wanted to do but eventually he caved yeah. and bought me one and um Started learning from there. And then the following year, I met Dom first uh, year of high school. So grade eight. And um, we quickly worked out that we were into the same shit. Loved the um, same bands. And his um, his grandpa was a known guitarist around the place as well. So it was in his blood oh, anyway. Cool. But he just started learning guitar around that time. And because we were bonding over the same sort of bands, we jammed these bands you know, like Nirvana and that sort of thing. And um right. just sort of grew and grew from there. So and we we worked out that we're we gel really easy together. So with writing songs and just jamming any cover, um, just sort of on the same page, just yeah. it just clicks. So we worked out pretty early that we um we had something special between us and we just um kept going with it. So me and Jay have like through the whole like since we were thirteen, have been pretty much in each other's bands. Whether the yeah. band changes, like it's normally like sort of like a two piece feat over here, but we're just together. And then other members have changed, but um, yeah, we've always had a pretty good connection together. You, you guys have been the core of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. We'll okay, that's the awesome. Picture. Like Diamond Vinny, like they just they're just always in the band together, you know. I, that's I totally get it, man. No, I totally yeah. get it. The uh, uh, you had wasn't there? You you were you came out of another band called Maniacal. Am I saying that right? No, no. Nah, so that was neither of us. That was our old singer. Like uh, okay, it, I'm sorry. I right, sorry. Nah, I, I didn't realize. Like, <laughs> um, but it is man. Like all these bands are just like. We've been in this one and like there's members of that one that were in with us and like it's just like a like a rat's nest of people. The South Australian scene is pretty bloody tight. Like speaking of maniacal, I think Andy Kite, he done yeah. their um the the studio they recorded over with Andy Kite for their uh, EP and you guys have actually done that I think for the last few as well as re- yeah. released that it's all super yeah. tight the SA scene especially like you guys growing up in a regional area you know what I mean it's obvious that you kind of gravitate to each other because I know what it's like growing up and living in a country area as well there's not many of us metalheads around so yeah, yeah exactly and like 
even oh, less okay. of them that can play an instrument as well. So, like, if and, you're short of bass yeah. player, like, there's a guy to go to or two guys to go to, you know, right. like, it's very limited as to who's playing, actually playing music. Right. It, it, it reminds me of, like, New England where you had Overcast, um, Kill Switch Engage, um, Shadows Fall, and All That Remains were all in yep. the same freaking area. Yeah, yeah, and they just were like in and out of each other's bands. Yeah, <laughs> so that, exactly. that's very cool. That's a cool. That's a cool family to have. You know what I mean? But I guess realistically, we've been pretty lucky. We've had a couple of long stints, and where we've kept the same few people together, and really right. been able to find our style, find what works for us, get some good stuff written, and then also oh. get out and play a fair bit of it, and then. Um, so our original band was Ann Passage, and no, was, I love the name. <laughs> that was That's great. <laughs> I live on them. <laughs> and as, I mean, <laughs> oh man, that's great. So that was our first one, and um, sort of me and Jay. That was what me and Jay started in year eight, and then I moved okay. to a different town. He sort of followed, and we reignited up with two new members from that town and then um we eventually ended up back in our hometown called Perry and brought in yeah. uh two of Jay's old band members from when I'd moved away. It's it's an ad like you know the like the true crime thing with the red strings going everywhere. Yeah. That's what <laughs> this band is <laughs> but we landed it's here like the... and this is probably our best lineup yet. So yeah, well, it, it sounds it, awesome. It, it does. It's a killer lineup, mm -hmm. and it, it, I want to go back a little bit to, to kind of the, the vocalist change which we had there. Kind of after that, Persuaders album dropped. That was an absolute ripper, and then you just kind of went through this flux where it's like, oh, we need got to mm -hmm. get another vocalist because life happens, people. Um, yeah. Tell us mm -hmm. a little bit about that process and getting in the new vocalist because he's done a fucking like a ripping job, man, on these two like EPs, like absolutely unreal. I'm really digging like his vocal fucking delivery as well. So tell us a little bit about mm -hmm. him and kind of him coming on board. Yeah. So like you said, life happens. Um, obviously Smithy couldn't put in the time that like he knew he was probably uh, selling us a bit short with what he could provide because Obviously, we've all no. got kids and, um, like, just the support that he gets, he, he needs to be there for them. So um, we went on a bit of a trek. We tried out a singer. Shit didn't really pan out. Um, and then Nick used to be in a band with DT called Half Chewed Pickle. Um, Fuck yeah. <laughs> <so can> I... <laughs> we... We hung out with him a little bit. Like I filled in for a show for them when they were doing something. And um, yeah, we got along great with him. And Jay knew him through doing a bit of their artwork and stuff like that. So um, like it, it was like our last option. We were like, come in. And he came in and just fucking slayed it, man. Like he yeah. he approaches it differently. He He's not... Yeah. Like, he doesn't have heaps of musical training, I guess you would say. Or experience. Or but... experience. And he was just, like, yeah. eager, man. He was keen. Like, you throw something out, yep, let's give it a go. Let's do this. Let's try it. And it's been let's really good. Let's try something. Yeah. Yeah. And we wanted someone – we like to take the piss out of ourselves, so we wanted someone who was on the same wavelength in that sense. Yeah not take things too seriously and just have fun with it because that's what it's all about just having fun and um yeah. fuck did we we did not know what we were in for yeah he, he takes it to the <laughs> level. he just um yeah no fucks given at all man and he fits in perfectly like it's just it was like it's meant to be the whole time so we right we can't be happy enough with um with nick like he's just worked out so well and he's just fits in like, he should be part of the band more than what we should. Yeah. Like, he's, he's excellent. So. He, he really <laughs> embraces that stuff for energy. Yeah. He he has a, a very much a – so I was just telling Jai this when we, we were listening. Um, It's – it's you guys have such 
like uh, this melange of sounds that is that I, I it's like I can't um it's 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 hard to place in a good way. Yeah. Um, he's got such a punk vibe with like the way he sings, and then his bark is like I, to me he sounds like this is gonna sound weird. He sounds like Zach De La Roca, and then like uh, Dexter Holland from the offspring and like right. and he'll jump and yeah. then like even your, your styles like i hear death tones i hear um rage i hear lincoln park but then i also hear like incubus kind of funk in it and then i hear infectious groove slash suicidal in you guys it, you guys are your but you're your own thing so very cool stuff <laughs> That Thanks, is a man. massive compliment, and we will definitely <laughs> no, I mean it. It. Seriously. He would, he loved, <laughs> he would love that. That is a great assessment, and I don't know if we can live up to it. <laughs> yeah, but, oh, trust me. No, it's, it. it's great. Oh, it's great, dude. <laughs> and that kind of come back to, to you guys kind of to, to having fun with the music and not locking yourself oh. kind of in, into one style. Yeah. You know, cause you've all bringing these different influences, uh, you know, it, into the band as well. So it seems like you're all able to kind of have your say and your part in the band. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And we, um, when Smithy was still, uh, part of the group, we wanted to try. Oh, something just happened on the screen. You guys still there? I just saw you. I'm still here. I'm still right. here. Oh, yeah, we're sorry. here. Don't worry about Thanks. me. Um, you, you did a max headroom. You're good, though. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we want to, when Smithy was part of the team, we wanted to try and branch out and do some more melodic stuff and maybe get back to some more mm. new metal flavors. Because we were like persuaders and all that sort of stuff was like pretty thrashy, pretty fast. We wanted to add some more elements in there, like we said, sort of exceeded that genre for us. I think we wanted to sort of branch out a bit more. And he was pretty one track mind in that sense. He just wanted to just fast and heavy. Let's yeah, just go fast for and it. Heavy. So we wanted to right. sort of try something different anyway. And um, when Nick come on board, we sort of presented you, that to him. We used that as a point to like sort of change direction. Like it was yeah. a, it's a clear point. Mm obviously a changing of the guard we can do what we want from now and bring in someone who's like a bit more open to just doing whatever trying you yeah. yeah and yeah like you said we you just gotta... we'll just go in there and just write whatever there's no plan there's no this song should sound right. like this it's just fucking just go hammer and tongue and see what happens see, see what turns out so it's, pretty, it's a cool it's a fun way to do it and, and you get the most interesting stuff out of that yeah, I think, um, yeah. especially if music is, or like dial that back, but like a song goes in a direction you're not expecting is what we like to try and do. Like you do something yeah. here and it should go here, but then we'll sort of like pivot on you. We try that anyway. Ooh, uh, right. We succeed, but we right. Don't. So tell oh, us the other one I was thinking was Soul, Soulfly was the other one I thought of for you guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. So on the upcoming, uh, on the upcoming EP, there might there is a yes. Soulfly cover. So yeah, I see that. Tell us all about it, dude, because you got um, Timmy um, B from oh. that as well. Um, just covering the the pain track as well. Um, Soulfly, dude, is like very first tattoo I ever got was yeah. Soulfly. The Next the one, lettering weird. off of the, one of the albums, dude. I went in there and I'm like, I want it this big. Oh my yeah. fucking chest, and he's like, "It's gonna cost you this much," and I'm like, "Just put it this big on the back of my arm there. It's all just, just, just right oh, there." On, <laughs> yeah, uh, dude, Tim, Tim channeling Max. Wow, mm. wow, yeah, it is wild. I I can't sitting there listening because we couldn't see him in the booth. But just listen to it set like we're like, fuck man, that is Max. Like he hits that yeah. so hard and so precise. It was wild. Oh, that's cool. He, he done that's gonna be rad to hear. 
Oh, yeah, you've done an amazing job, dude. And it does appear, people, on the new EP, Volume 2, Super Debtor, does come out April 12th. Everybody bloody chuck in your pre-orders for that. You got pre-orders for them, guys? Or where's yeah, the best like place? A, it's like a pre-save, I think. So if you save, pre-save. It, yeah, pre-save, and then as soon as it's released, it'll go straight to your library sort of thing. So, And you do have some merch as well. I'd like to fucking plug the pluggables mm. as well. Where's, where are you selling your merch from? I did actually jump over and have a yeah. look at that before. So it's through the print bar. Yeah, print. Um, hey, like, I mean, if you hit up our Facebook page, all those links are right at the top there. So, yeah, we've got... Um... We got tees, we got stubby holders, we got yeah. hats, buckets, Buck, yeah, bucket hats, truckies caps, flat hats. The ones with the fancy hat. fucking flat plot from school, man. They were off yeah, those ones, dude. I've actually I seen need, I need that. them at gigs, He's man. Go <laughs> yeah, dude, I've seen I'll these ones suffer a heap of order. times playing live, man. Absolutely unfucking real playing live. And you guys have a few shows all the way to Um, Jade gets back in at chat about yep. it as well but these guys put on a great show jim a i fucking caught them um what was it back when you were was it the super heist they yep. won a competition mm. super heist were putting on for support bands in each city yep. and um they couldn't oh, wow. pick adelaide is like three bands they had on because they couldn't pick out of it wasn't it dude <laughs> like wow. it was, you guys yeah there we go what, what, it, I what am I looking at here? What just happened? Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's that's oh, that, that looks that looks that's rad. Level. That's going to be perfect for the yeah. US listeners or watchers, man. Get that at the moment. It's going to start coming into summer. You're going to need that coming soon. That's yeah. for sure. <laughs> you get the neck protection as well. It's exactly. I dig so, that. You can't so, argue with sun safety. No, especially yeah, yeah, when yeah. you got those festivals coming up. Europe, you got some European festivals coming up. I want to see you all wearing your stuff with your every new hats. That's for bloody sure. So tell us about the first single off of the um, EP, A New Empire. I think you just kind of dropped uh, mm. through heavy in that as well. Like... Yeah. Um, I'm kind of a little bit uh, pissed off that Godzilla decided to like bring out a Godzilla Kong the New Empire. They've yeah, sort of stolen a bit of our mm-hmm. thunder with the googling there. Was, but, yeah, yeah. It's like that test eagles turned that shit up when they dropped it just before Rage Against the Machine. Remember, like fucking <laughs> ages ago, man. It right. Support and Adelaide yeah. music for quite a while now. That's for sure. <laughs> So um, I was t- uh, touching on some gigs you guys have coming up. I'm going to um, share some flyers as well. I think you have a launch show as well, which is um, Friday, April 19th at the Traveller's Rest Hotel. It's kind of a Metal United warm-up as well. It does feature um, mm-hmm. Hidden Intent there, which is fuck another band I've caught a whole stack of times. Hell Machine are unreal. I caught them at um, uh, Churches of Steel a couple of yep. years ago. They were unreal. Are they, are they the two-piece? Yeah, they are, dude. Yeah, I think they're from good. fucking oh. Alice Springs, man, or something like that. Or Dave drove down like how fucking oh, stupid for that one, man. That was unreal. That was so <laughs> bloody good. All the bands yeah, on this, Shadow Monarchy, Monarchy are unreal as well. Uh, it's a little yeah. bit of a gig, man. How important it is to get mm. these ones? You've got the Moodoo following up on the next day as well. Yeah, well, I think, um, I think the idea was originally Hidden Intent. They wanted to do like a bit of a warm-up show. They haven't sort of played around this area for a while, a year or two, I guess, but they were pretty keen to do something down here. So I think the idea is spawned from them. Um, but a mate of ours, Benny McGee, uh, who's in Aftershock, uh, he's sort of set all this up for us. So he's um, he's the brains behind it, along with Dan Pierce from False Flag. But uh, they were just keen to put something on, man, and Hidden Tent. They were super keen and we're always keen, so... Yeah. Yeah, just yeah. made sense to do it on the same weekend as well because the band's are already here. Let's just make a whole weekend out of it and, um, yeah, get amongst it. So we've never played mm. Troublous Rest, so I don't know how it's going to go, but I'm sure – I think the last show they had there sold out. That'd so be great. Should be pretty cool. Yeah, the Troublous Rest. And then you got got um, Phoenix wow. Park at Port Pirie as well um, through False Flag. Um, I thought it was really cool to see um, Benny um, being a part of that, man, because I know what a staunch yeah. 
supporter he is. You see him at just about oh, every God, single everything, man. Go is unreal, man. So to see him like kind of getting behind this and starting to put on some shows over there as well, and you know, in conjunction with what Dan's doing, I think it's it is really great for regional areas. And you guys grow grew up in it a regional so area. You know how important so it is to have. Man. Exactly, these original bands and especially these heavy bands, especially for the younger generation, the teenagers coming through. I was talking about in another interview how hard these teenagers fucking rip it up at some of these shows. To be able to bring stuff to the area is amazing. Yeah, it it is great. And like I see it because I've got a 17-year-old daughter. She's into the music we're into. Like all her friends, they're keen to get out for shows. Jay's daughter's she's in a band now like like they're just all into this great music and it's it's like real good to see like it's got i guess the fucking the pandemic fucked the whole scene and like we were worried about how it was going to bounce back but i think it's coming back even harder like there's a little bit more appreciation for it now like we can actually get out and yes actually do shows and you can get in the mosh pit now and it's not fucking social distance. It's, it's wicked. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I know. I remember I'm um, catching you guys in a couple of mosh pits, actually. Um, 36 Crazy Fists was actually a pretty oh, fucking uh, wild one. Oh, Dan said you guys in that right. one. That was absolutely crazy. I was trying to do Great photography band. at this show, Jim, and these yeah. guys were fucking going off. It was unreal. Do oh, crap you every now and then. <laughs> Fuck you! Yeah! <laughs> you know what happened, man? We, um... We come down to Adelaide that day, and I think we were wasted by about seven. I don't encourage it. It was no. just one of those. Dude, it was a great night. Yeah, it was, it was just things happen. Days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got carried away before I even knew it, and it was about seven thirty at night, even before the show had started. And I reckon he suplexed me into a bush at the front <laughs> of the venue. That's the sort of level we're talking about, and um, I don't know it made the night better. Like we still remember it. It was just awesome. Like we. We'd seen Crazy Fist yeah. before, but not in such an intimate setting. So it was freaking Ooh. wild, man. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, that was cool. They didn't even have any barriers up. I think that was part no, of the no, last no fest. Um, the stage oh. is a foot high. Like fist bumping, <laughs> yeah. bloody bass player and shit. We yeah, could... man. That was absolutely... And it's great. Like, um, Steve Holt, the guitarist from Crazy Fist, is like one of my like biggest influences. I like, I can't understand Underrated how band. much I like Crazy yeah. Fist, man. He is like absolute... Jesus to me, like you're fucking dime bags, God. Steve Holt is Jesus, like that's the level I fucking love. They they are underrated. I remember I bought because of the, I want to say it was Resident Evil Two soundtrack. Uh, I got a snow capped romance, oh, and yes. I thought, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, these guys are no joke, and and Brock Lindau is a tank of a singer. Oh, and I just, I just, just started getting everything past range, that. Man, is yeah, that's it. Well, yeah. that's and and now that I hear it, because all I can hear it is, um, oh, the, the it was a, uh, a, uh, 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 oh man, I can hear the song. It was off uh, Resident Evil. Your boy has that vocal, that that shout rasp, yeah, and yeah. then it goes into the melodic singing. Uh, yeah. the one that was a. Uh, now swallow these capsules. Um, oh, blood work. Yeah, blood work. Yeah, blood work. Blood work. Yeah. Blood work. Yeah. That and That's but then he's got that. Well, isn't it? I was like, but all I can hear is that last like that the the last three minutes and that just that aggression, man, and it's just incredible. Oh, do we freeze? We froze. Hold on. Yeah, there we, we were go. talking about 36 Crazy yeah. Fist. That's what Jim was saying. We were like, neck yeah. dripping 36 Crazy Fist talking about. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was unreal. We'll continue on, but I want to talk about yeah, another please. show you guys have as well, which I know Jim's probably going to be wishing he was over, that was recently announced. I think it's over in <gasps> Broken Hill. Silverton. It? Silverton, that's the one. Yeah, dude. Metal. Oh, God. Cool. Which, fuck, tell us all about it, guys. I um, guess we get to channel our inner Mad Max. I know it's yeah. gonna be good, isn't it? That one kind of fucking fired off. They put on that post saying they were um gonna have this festival at the the Mad Max fucking uh compound area they've got over there. Oh, I then, love it. 
heaps of bands kind of yeah. hit off on it. I know Witch Grinder have just dropped their album yesterday. You got Darker Half, Flaming Wreckage are about to drop an album. Firestorm just dropped yeah. their fucking EP. Hidden Intent have just toured all over fucking. But well, they were Europe, weren't they? Went all over fucking Europe, didn't yeah. they? Not long ago. Then fucking uh, China, uh, Japan, Asia. Asia. Yeah, yeah, fucking everywhere, yeah. dude. One of the hardest working bands in South Australia. Jeez, there's like there's Demon like 30 Head, bands. Vocatus, The Plague, Headboard. Yeah, two day festival. Hell Machine, Sundowner, Anton Mazia, those left behind, which um fucking Timmy's on the um the pain fucking okay. track you guys have on the Super Deader as well. Uh, Apocalypse, yeah. when Annihilation, is Sons of Erebus, Adelaide Band, Reaver, Headstone, Villain, Mel, yeah. uh, Mel Mildura, you guys, Suffer mm. the Avenue, Armored Earth, um, Firing Squad, Maxim, Skyhammer, Fuck Death from Adelaide as well, man. Some good fucking Adelaide bands making some appearances here, dude. It's good to see um, SA representing on this one, man. Yeah, dude. And it's like a uh, two day camp out sort of festival. So she's going she's gonna to be hectic, I reckon. Yeah, man, it's good to see yeah. tickets kind of rolling out the door for that one as well. Look, we, we're probably going to sign out. What's that? Oh, not to mention there's two bands to be announced yet too, so I'm not too sure oh, okay. what they've got be... on their sleeves, but... Yeah. That'll be yeah. interesting. That'll be I mean, interesting. We're kept in the dark on that one, so yeah, yeah it could be, be awesome, man. Yeah, no, no, I want to kind of get over there. Jim, do you have anything else you want to chuck in there, my friend? No, no, I'm. I, this has been awesome, gentlemen. Uh, I need to get yeah. down there, and uh, I, 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 I told Jai all I want to do is just bring my keyboard and mandolin. I play electric mandolin, and just yeah, whoever we- needs it, I'm just gonna tr- travel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll put a guest spot on. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, no, no door is closed in supper. We will <laughs> use anything. There we go. Remember awesome. that, people. Um, I'm loving the new sound. I'm loving the change of the guard, dude. Look, Volume 1, Super Dead is an absolute fucking ripping EP, man. Sick can't is a great way to start the fucking EP as well. But Super Deader, yeah. man, yeah. absolutely unreal. Continues on with what you guys have got going on. I'm looking forward to what mm. future holds for Suffer. Um, that being said, everybody, as he mentioned, um, the guys mentioned, you can jump over, pre-save it. Everybody pre-save it also. Head over to their fucking YouTube, subscribe, hit the bell, fucking like, follow, all that shit that doesn't cost anything to support a band. Also, merch. Fucking buy merch, people. Get along, buy get that shirts, hat. Buy the sick hats. Yes, support. that exact hat. <laughs> exactly. You got it. That one right there. Cool. Everyone supports Suffer the Avenue. Guys, do you have any last words, Deep. shout outs, thank yous, or anything else you'd like to add in there, my friends? Yeah, maybe uh, jump on YouTube, check out the new film clip as well, New Empire. Watch Jay get fucked up and dragged through some scrub. That was pretty cool. Um, oh, God. Got a, yeah, a couple of shows coming up. Uh, get down for them. Um, and stay tuned on the supper page for what's new and happening. That's the one. Everyone grab some stuff for the avenue, chuck it in the stereos, crank it up really loud. The neighbours are going to want to hear it too. Super Data does come out April 12th. Everyone get that as well. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Thank you very much. Oi, you're tuned in to Dry That Aussie Metal, guys, so make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of his sick content. And remember, stay brutal, you legend.